go. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> All right. How about that? We have a wire that's a little. There we go. Are we ready? <laughs> is it on? Nice. Is it pointing in the right direction? It is pointing in the right direction. <laughs> Good. I can't look down too too well. <laughs> too well. This is my old. All you need is a, a what? You need a beacon now, just spinning around. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure they'll send one. <laughs> what the hell? This, this has got to go. Well, that's the better. Yeah? Okay. I need glasses, too. Okay. I'll put my eye out. I wonder if we can just... Is that okay. better? That's All wonderful. Right. Well, this is Janine. I'll put that over there. Okay, and this is from... Gary Dumas. I know Gary Dumas. He's got a dog of ours. Yes, he does. And he helped us with a friend of his take a dog of ours, right? Yep. How about that? He would like. Victoria is doing great. Hmm. Sorry I've been lax, but things do happen. Oh boy, do they happen. Yes, we certainly. What the hell? I can't turn around. Where's the bucket? Oh, I don't. Oh, it's right up here. Oh, wrong bucket. Okay, that's got to be down there. There you go. There we go. And then this goes in here. In chicken bricks. Two chicken bricks. Yeah. Okay, so I did that. Okay. Is it? Oh yeah. It's on. It. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Okay. <laughs> oh, Gwen. Gwen, this is... That's what you were waiting for yesterday. This has got to go... I think this is just a check for me to... Family accounting. Yes, Gwen, I got it. Okay, that goes in my... Whatever it goes. And this is Darwin, my high school friend Darwin. Oops. That's not bad now, is it? It's gorgeous. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's amazing what two coat hangers will do here. <laughs> Where is Darwin from? New York? Darwin? No! He's Deer oh, Isle, Maine. Maine, that's right. Deer Isle, Maine. And what I use it, well, I just go put it in the pot. Yeah? It use it get okay, that's the Wall Street Journal. Which I think they can survive without me. William Sonoma. That's the kitchen something or other. Yeah. No, we don't need that. We're beyond the fringe. Memsick! Yay! Yeah, hey, Memsick. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Twelve seven ninety eight. Very good. Uh, I'll put it in the pot. And you can have that because mm -hmm. I don't know. Yep. Women and girls at risk. I think they're less at risk than we were yesterday. Okay, big D's. I ordered some horsey stuff today or yesterday. The foot stuff for that puck for the for the pockets. And I had to order, I had to order three things in order to get it up enough so it, was, so it wouldn't be twenty-five dollars shipping. So I ordered some of that BioGroom waterless shampoo that I particularly like. I can't see washing these dogs; they're, they're not dirty. Right. Brushing is good, mm -hmm. and then just a wipe off with that, and they smell like they've had a shampoo. Yep, very good. You know. It's that waterless shampoo. I've used it for years, and I've used it on horses, I've used it on pigs, I've used it on everything. And it's very good. What are we scanning now? Oh, that's one of you. If, if your computer sees that, you've got new windows or something, right? <laughs> yeah. The home mag, we don't need that. We're getting there. What is this for? Oh, jeez. 
Oh boy. I don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid here. Whoop, wait a minute. A little top heavy. Can't do that. I should have it tied under my chin. Oh, yeah. I didn't. It's usually tied with a piece of gauze. Hi. The, um, so Haley has everything in the feed room. If you want to just pop down there. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. Sorry. Hey, hey, pipe it down. Come on, Okay. Here we have birds, I guess. Animal and Plant and Health, U.S. Department of Agriculture. Defend the flock. Biosecurity. Every day, every time. Biosecurity tips. Make a plan. 14 national poultry improvement biosecurity principles. Whatever. Limit visitors. Change your clothing. When handling birds, wear disposable coveralls. Oh boys, wash your hands. Clean and disinfect. Keep germs from moving into a new location. Keep other animals away. Put control programs in place for wild birds, including their feces and feathers. Rodents, insects, so don't come in contact. Report sick birds. Call the USDA. Huh. Practice biosecurity every day, every time. I think maybe we're glad we didn't get birds. Oh, here it is in Spanish. And there it is in chickens. Huh. More chickens. A lot of, well, they sent me a lot of these. Well, for the first six people who would like one of these, just send us a note and we'll send you one. In other words, they got chickens and how to take care of your chickens. Okay. I lost my help. I tell you, you just can't get good help nowadays. They just take off and leave. I wonder where she went. Well, the dogs are barking. Well, she's back. Community service hours. What happened? Community service hours. Oh, really? Discussion, yeah. Okay, ready. Ready? That was that was all. I told people if they if they sent us a, a please and send it to them, we'd send them those. There's six calendars about chickens. Oh, cool. And, yeah, cool. But the, the, they got a whole bunch of new rules about chickens. It used oh. to be you had some chickens in the backyard. Now you got to wash your hands and change your clothes and limit right. visitors and make a plan and yeah yeah i read up on some chickens and yeah they had a lot of work actually ours, ours, ours have lived for years without all that stuff supposed to give them dust baths and yep all that fun stuff well here these are yours now because i don't want them there all right we go. so what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave them up here and as people request them <laughs> i will have donna or them you up. throw them out quick and say they're all gone no 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 <laughs> no. no we don't do that no we think about it, but we don't do that. <laughs> we think very. I lost my opener. You took it. No. No, you didn't. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Well, this could be another thing. I've watered some stuff lately. No. 
Well, we've got a couple, couple things here. Ouch! Oh, see? I didn't cut it. Oh, Cup all broad. <laughs> Skin <You know>? of steel. <laughs> That's the first time I've missed and killed myself. I did cut myself a little bit. Let me touch it on back. Okay, cut my knee for a while. Okay. Advantage. Ah. Large dog. Okay, we'll put that somewhere. Where'd that come from? Where have the there dogs? A, they're they're out there. They're out there. Yep. I'm waiting I'm for fine. them to no, go I'm fine. Go potty. Is this from anyone in particular? No, it just I didn't says Carlene. See it. No, I didn't I didn't see nothing. And there's no white paper. So we'll put this down here and Larky will take it. There's something in here on the floor. Oh, okay. Put that over here. There we go. All right, right? And I did the right way this <laughs> That doesn't say anything either, right? Nobody special? Nope. Star project. There we are. Yes, one moment, please. Okay, I'm gonna put you on hold for a second. Pause. One problem yep. with okay, glasses we're or back. hearing aid or anything. All right. That's crazy. Another box in here. There's a big box. Well, you nope. can't have that. You gotta do those. Linda. Oh. Linda Wig. Okay. Wig Weigel? Is that the way you say that? Linda. Yes. Weigel? Something like that. Very close. Rope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, goody! Well, how did they know I needed these? <laughs> because they're on our Amazon wish list. Oh, are they? Yes, they are. Well, that's what you put in that bio groom. Mm-hmm. I just ordered the bio groom yesterday. There you yeah, go. The our CPs are psychic. Okay, so there's straws in here. Yeah. The yeah. straw goes on there somehow. And then that goes in the bottom there. And we're in clover. Okay. Wonderful. All right, thank you, Linda. Because we should take one with us. 
We take the three the three dogs. We give a quick swipe off and they come out of my car and go in and play. Mm -hmm. You know. They, they there you go. Smell a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put these over here. I've got one more. There you go. Okay. And this one isn't from anybody either. Bags. Yes. I saw on the oh, one of those things that they make you watch and you keep watching and keep watching and keep watching about the bags. If you get a piece of PVC pipe and cut a hole in it like that and screw it to the wall, you put one of these in and unroll it through the... Oh, that's a great idea. It is a great idea. That is a great, yeah. So I will think about that. There you go. All right. Who's this from? Is there a tag inside? There is. But I can't get to it because it's something in the way. Here we go. You ready? Here we go. I got it. You get the whole thing. Ready? Okay, go ahead. It's from Linda again. Yes. <sighs> Very good. All right, yeah, CP's asked for me to update the um, Amazon wish list. So yes, I right, did. See that? <laughs> Very good. Okay. Let's put this over here. This headpiece, most of you already know about, is basically two coat hangers. You cut off the hook and you bend it one way up and the other way around your leg and you do the other one the other way and you end up with what I have on my head. And you can use that with children, mm -hmm. dogs, mm -hmm. everything. You, you've done a lot of um, the kids' costumes. Kids' costumes, you can be all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Just, you I've need stuff to be able to put stuff up in the air. Yeah. I found unicorns upstairs cleaning Unicorn. out the closet. <laughs> I found all kinds of stuff up yep. there. But what better use than this? <laughs> okay. Uh. I spent the whole day driving. I know you did. Back and forth and back and forth. And we have we have one more trip to do tomorrow morning, and then I think we have all the fencing. Real? Oh? All? Wow. Oh. There's a hell of a pile in yeah. the yeah. There's a hell of a pile in the pit right now that needs sorting. It's actually two loads, two big loads. Okay, Sam K says welcome to mail call. Thank you, Sam. Um, let's see. So this morning's phone call was 6 a.m. We had Jenny. Oh, I saw that. Who had the string wrapped around her. So I um, text Matt and then I quickly called him. Woke him up. You woke him up. <laughs> oh, congratulations. And had him go over and rescue Jenny. So Uncle Matt came to the rescue and thank you everybody for calling and letting us know she was in trouble. Uh, but yes, she, she was in trouble. Why? What is the string? So there is over here is the window, the front window yep. of the ice house, and it has um, it's like bamboo blind to it. And there was a string, and it's always been all wrapped up around this thing. And she evidently uh -huh. unwrapped it. Cut them off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Uncle Matt took care of Jenny, which was very, very, very good. Okay. Crafty says, "What measures are taken to prevent an incident?" like that happening, um, that a situation that should be called in at any hour, glad Matt quickly resolved it and Pop Jenny herself did a good job staying calm. Yes, That's I was true. watching her. She was, she was very good. So, the strings are being cut off. But that, that was a phone call. Yep. That was a phone call. Yep, that was a phone call. I mean, it should have been. Came to me. Yep, good. And I 
I don't know that. if I heard it or not. <laughs> I don't think if I did, it did register. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is just too funny. I <laughs> All right, Crafty says, Gary's dog, service dog Victoria, is from the Cookie Crumb Litter, born May 2nd, 2014, so she is eight and a half years old. And Betsy says, oh, Caroline, now you have outdone Edward R. Murrow. Can you use good night and good luck? <laughs> good night and good luck? That would be it. <laughs> oh, and Diane H. says, I love that hat, Caroline. And Karen M. said you should put the sign on the back of Caroline's chair. I am sure you will get a USB extender to make the cord longer. Um, no, it, it comes with a battery pack, which we haven't quite figured out yet. Yeah. But I figured my car would work. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you could go for days. <laughs> How would they think of you at Meredith? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, and she says, were you aware yesterday that Carl was following you, Carlin? Yes, yes, I was thoroughly aware of that. Um, I had reached out to Janine on it. Um, Indy Dunes asks, hi, Carlene and Lynn, how was your Thursday? Carlene was very busy. I drove back and forth and back and forth, bringing over almost the last thing of the, of the fencing. There was a lot of, there is, a, there's one more trip tomorrow morning and then it's cleaned up over there. Wow. Wow. The guy, the guy, they're doing a hell of a job. Um, and I, I asked him how much he would charge to put it in at our house. And I was flabbergasted with $125 a post. Ooh. That's not going to happen here. <laughs> not, not going to happen here. Um, that's for millionaires who can afford that stuff. <laughs> I'll go out there with my soup spoon, see what I can do. <laughs> but it, what they're really putting it over there is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Are uh, they painting it before they put it up? What the? Are they painting before they put no. it up? Or if they're installing and then painting it? Yeah. Uh, hmm. they, they, have a, they have a gun, so bang, 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 bang. It's going up quick. Oh. Um, they just come through and they dig all the holes, which just take a minute with that auger thing. Um, I think that it may be worth our while to try and get a hold of the people that have the tractor at this point and ask them to bring an auger down to fit the other tractor and put it on. Yeah. Then we'd be all set. Do you think it operates by the PTO? Huh? Does it operate with the PTO? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you get a nine inch one because these, yeah. these are almost six by six posts. Hmm. See what happens next. Here we go. Bud? <laughs> well, that, I, don't want, I don't want Bud struggling with that order. No, but he can make that phone call. Oh, the phone call. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, Crafty wanted to know how Chloe was on her overnight, and she was awesome. The, the dog is just a wonderful, wonderful dog. Um, <laughs> Carl from Florida says, I cannot stop laughing seeing the on-air headwear. <laughs> Schnauzer mom wants to know how it's attached. Uh, she just came on. Oh, it's, it's two coat hangers. It's a two coat hangers. See? Yeah, you did the same type of thing for when... Everything! When back way back when we used to have the ears cropped and to help ears, have this, them stand. I did this. Yep, yep, I use this with ear cropping because you don't have to put anything over the cut edge. Yep, yep, and the air We're could fine. circulate yep. around them so you didn't get the smelly... I, at one point in my life, had eight puppies with cropped ears wearing these hats in the kitchen mm -hmm. together. Yep. Yeah. It beats the cone that uh, my dogs used to have. Oh, well, that was yeah, awful. That cone taped They don't get their foot through the cone like they get their foot through this. That is true. That but is it doesn't true. give. I mean, once you once you have it attached, it, they stand there and yell to you come and un unattach them. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get the oh. string out of the way here a little bit. There. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, uh, mail call with Carlene and Lynn on air now. 
All right, and Sam K says stand by. We'll be right back. Sound pause for phone calls. And Crafty wants to know how many days a week do you plan to hold mail calls? So we're going to do that five days a week, Monday through Friday, um, because we don't have anybody on Saturday to be able to do it. So we'll have to hold Saturday's mail to Monday. At least that's temporarily the plan. Um, Plans change around here with startling regularity. Indy Dunes wants to know any updates on any of the dogs. Um, Mr. Davis was neutered today and he is going for a couple of days to a volunteer's home to um, be nursed. And let's see what else happened. Chloe went on an overnight last night. She did great. I took I had, so the microphone is now working in, on Puppy Hill. Um, it's going to be on during feeding and shut off at the end of the night. And I had to get an adapter for it. So I ended up running here and there and everywhere. But I took Deanna with me today and she was remarkably well. Who? Oh. Deanna. Oh, good. Yep. She was really well. Her pace was awesome. Uh, she popped up a couple of times from being in a down state, but she was really good. The only thing that shook her up was there was a couple of motorcycles that <laughs> went through like a parking garage and really revved it up. And I mean, I jumped. So, and of course she jumped, but, um, you know, she didn't pull back. She didn't, you know, really freak out. So she did really well. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was very, very surprised. Very, um, in, very. That excited. dog's got good back end. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Who was that? Do we know? Uh, heads down. Um, got a white tip on his tail. Does everybody know that they all do? They all do. <laughs> very, very few have no tip on the tail. Right. Um, Even the spotted ones will go out of their way to have a white tip on the tail. I know it's not Riker. Because Riker doesn't have that much white on him. I'm trying to think of who's on the donkey hillside. Um, and Jack is on the other side, so I'm not sure which one this one is. Crafter wants to know how many ornaments um, have arrived so far. I really haven't been counting them. I have them stored away where um, dogs can't get them right now. So we do have quite a few, which is awesome, uh, but we'll still take more. Um, Carla says, it was great to have sound on Puppy Hill today. Thank you. I'm guessing you have someone to cut it off when everyone leaves for the day. Yes, we do. Um, Who's barking out there now? That's your dogs. Mine? Yeah. I'll bring them in. You got my dogs out in the cold? Oh, or is it raining it's or 70, something? 70 degrees out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cold. <laughs> They're supposed to be in for mail call, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Isn't everybody like to have Lockie on the well, I can go grab him. sofa? So Gammy says it's been on since before mail call can't turn it off. Um, that was actually a, an issue on the Explore end. Um, there wasn't any sound on. It was just a, a static that was happening. Um, and Carla says today was the first day we had sound with barking dogs. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to put you on pause for a second. Let me go get the kids. My poor thing's out of the cold. Hey! Well, they're way out there. Hey guys! Hey kids! My first trip this morning, I left Larky and Jiminy home and you should have seen the expression on their faces like what the hell? Go get her! Go get her! Hello! Hi, Diaz! Hello, everybody! <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. Right Real professionals, when they hook up somebody like me, they put this down inside and out the bottom so that you don't have this right. deflection. Right. But we also <laughs> tried to put this behind you this way. We're going to have a problem. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now we're okay. Does that make me semi-professional? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you, gifters. Credit for having the idea, finding the stuff, paying and ordering. Follow through is to be admired. Yes, that was awesome. Um, whoops. Hello. 
Sam K says, uh, Hi, he's back on. Gammy says, uh, I know, Larky. Don't chew the wire. To no, you can't yes, have the wire. Yeah. Get yeah. out of here. But that's okay. He's a good boy. He's good. Um, Bio BC yeah, says, Yeah, look at that dog. Coat hanger. I didn't want to do that one, but that one too. It's very pretty. At the 2019 Dog Fest. Who? Bio Who? says they wore. Coat hanger oh, name that's tags right. at the 2019 Dog Fest. Hi, honey. That must have had a lot of hangers. <laughs> that's where they all went. <laughs> Bios asked, did Jenny have a different um, birth name? And Allie, yes, you are correct. Um, it was Benny. Oh, we and, had one of those? And we couldn't have a Benny because we, we had, had Bentley, and I called Bentley Benny. Hi. Um, Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Yes, you're wonderful. No, um, and the Schnauzer mom says, uh, she to a he, and uh, no, um, she's always been a she. She just, what? She just had a Benny, a male name, I, I don't know. I guess Benny could be a female name. Um, and Lila May asked, do we call you Lynn in case of emergencies? So the phone here, the 0666 number rings three times. If it is not picked up by yours truly, it will then ring to my cell phone. Um, so that way the phone gets ring. The phone gets answered. Yeah. I have a thing about answering the phone within four rings because most companies don't. Mm -hmm. That's when they turn you off to the, oh, we're so glad you've called. Yeah. And that I hope we'd never have to be a part of. <laughs> oh, you're wonderful, dear. Did you, have, did you have a problem you want to talk to me about? We have she had says, itchy ears lately. She says, Mama, you have something on your head. <laughs> She's got itchy ears. I think we need an ear cleaning. Uh-oh. See, see, look at this. Uh-oh. Then you, you know, you pick them up and tie them in a knot at the top. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, you good girl. And then as far as the other phone number, the 1020 number, um, that also rings. If Kim is here on property, she will answer it. If not, it rings to my cell phone and I answer it. Um, who, is it who answers it? Kim answers it oh. if, okay. when she's here. She's been she, here. she was running around today, going to put the sticker. She likes to do things right. She was trying to put the stickers on the trailers. And we have a few trailers. And she was trying to match the license plate license plate to the stickers and she didn't realize that there's nothing around here that said the license plates are on the right one either <laughs> you have a trailer you have a license plate you put them together etc and the two of the trailers are the same kind of trailer yeah one is 12,000 pounds and the other is 14,000 pounds I just I lost track of it I left <laughs> I had one of them hooked up yeah she, she came in for us I go you know what not all the trailers are here right now. Just <laughs> let it rest uh, for right now. Just put a sticker on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she said that one of them didn't have a plate. It had a, a paper plate. That's the one that we carried chaos around on. We made into a dog trailer. Oh, maybe that doesn't go out on right, the road. Right. That doesn't. Right. So that doesn't. Because that'd be another fifty thousand dollars to register it. You know. Right, right. So. No, we have the two dog trailers and the horse trailer. Right, and the horse trail is not here. I don't know where it is. And then I think you have the dump trailer. Yeah, <laughs> things like that. It happens. Yeah. yeah, I just said, don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll figure it out yeah. later. Okay, Bio says, thank you for getting the dogs. We love these three so much. Um, Nina says, thank you, ladies. Mail call says, mail call just isn't the same without the dogs. See? <laughs> well, they just <laughs> ate. I came up here late. So I wanted to make sure that they ate. Maybe they want to see them poo. Oh. <laughs> Maybe they want to see us use the poo pickers mm. that they've sent us. <laughs> <laughs> you just never know. Right. Maybe they want to see me try to catch it before Catching it hits it? the ground. Real professional I, I do that. I practice that too. <laughs> all right. That's all the questions that we have. Do you okay. Do you have anything else? You no, I'm going back to bed. All right. Well, thank I'm, you, I'm everybody. Really not, I'm just lying in bed watching the news. Yeah. Uh, Biden just gave a pep speech. I think, I think, I think the the voting thing did very well. I was pleased. I was pleased. There was no confusion. I expected all sorts of nonsense. But I think they had more confusion with the Powerball 
not yeah. being able to do the Powerball that night because of some <laughs> other something that was yeah, going I, on. Then I, no, I think I think I, I, I'm in, I'm encouraged. I was terrified two days ago. <laughs> but we'll, I'm, we'll I'm, I'm feeling better now. <laughs> and I went down and nobody bothered me. Right. They ran around and found me a chair. Good. Great big policeman. Huge guy. Nice. Policemen are like that though. They're big. Sometimes I think they should never make shirts. They're rugged. They're well, rugged no, there's dogs. some shirts made that are really accommodating too much. But this guy was just mammoth. He was fit, and he was. No like, one's gonna mess yeah, with him. Yeah, like, he'd like he he you know. And I said, "Are you an Ipswich cop?" Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they got him from. Wow. He was he was good. Very nice. Okay, and dinner. You can tell it's getting darker out. It's black and white now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, have okay. a great night. We are going off the air off now. Off the air. Should we put you off first? Off. Off. Yep. Have a good night, everyone.